welcome back to my youtube channel i can't believe this is the first sit down video of 2022 we're in month two of 2022 um and this video is gonna be a q a about my new job Um, if you don't follow me on tiktok or instagram you totally should i'll pop them here but um you won't have seen that i have a new job i am a dancer player and acrobat in pippin the musical the bob fossey extravaganza i am super excited to get started i'm just going to answer some of my most asked questions on my tiktok i have them in this little cute notebook look how cute this is um and answer the questions so i because i film my phone i just can't read them from my phone so we're reading them from my notebook so i keep looking down that is why so we're gonna start with where i found this audition so i as every other dancer in new york city at the moment i was looking through playbill looking through actors access looking through backstage um to find auditions and i was submitting for 10 to 15 auditions per week like monday through friday and then spending the weekends looking for auditions um and i can even show you in my planner kind of what the audition kind of schedule has been looking like just so you get a vague idea of like how crazy it is to audition um in new york at the moment it has been pretty crazy so like this is like an audition kind of breakdown a week of what i auditioned for i think this is a week where i auditioned for 17 shows not just 15 um and most auditions are self-taped so you learn a combo from a video and then you upload it submit it to youtube and like you don't normally get views or you have to wait like four or five months for views so there is that so like just remember don't feel disheartened something i really wanted to say when i started this video is don't feel disheartened when your videos aren't getting views because as this shows your videos can get views months down the line um so anyway i found found this audition back in December on Playbill.com. I just go to Playbill, I go to Performer and then New York, it's like the subcategories and I auditioned. Um, the first round was a self-tape so I just learned a combo and submitted it along with my headshot resume and contact information. Then I got an email back like three weeks ago, two weeks ago saying that we'd love to see you in person and bearing in mind i had filmed this video like this self tape in december and i was just getting an email back in the end of january Um, nobody had viewed my submission until literally three weeks ago i was then asked to come in for like a an in-person audition which was super super exciting so the process of that audition was i went in with zero expectations i had my book with my headshot resume and all my sheet music and i was just looking at it like this is my first edition of 2022 in person and we're gonna nail it it doesn't matter if we don't book we're just gonna nail it so i went in with a 32 bar cut cut of world's burn from mean girls um which is regina george's like big solo kind of after katie like she finds out that katie's been like two timing or whatever um and that's like a proper sassy number and i love it because like i want to be regina george like literally the only role that i would ever actually want to do as like the lead is regina i love her so much and then i went in with don't lose your head from six the musical again a 32 bar cut so i sang my songs to the piano i introduced myself to the piano and it was great it was really really good i am a dancer first i am not a strong singer i'm not a confident singer but I just went for it and it was really, really good. I then had to go in and read sides once everyone else in my group, there was maybe four or five people in my group, I had to go inside, inside like this little room and read sides with everybody. So I read for player one, um, or leading player one, sorry, who is like the narrator kind of person of the show, um, just so that they could get a sense of my voice and my acting choices. Um, because they have like a huge monologue in part of the show so I had to go and read that monologue which was really fun really scary but again really really fun and then I had to jump into scenes so I was reading different characters so I read Catherine I read Fistrada and 
I read another one. I can't remember who else I read. Can't remember. But anyway, I read another part as well, and I was just kind of, I was either in a scene and they were looking at me primarily, or I was in a scene with somebody else just reading reading the lines, um, so that the other person got their chance to act and show their skill set to the panel, and like side note this panel were the nicest panel of like audition people that i have ever met they were literally so kind so warm so generous like they were lovely people and it was just such a great first experience so then after we did our sides we went into another studio and we had a dance call we learned i don't know like 30 seconds to a minute of choreography from we've got magic to do and then we had 30 seconds of improv. The choreography was very fussy, it was very stylized, it was very like technique driven, which was really, really good. And I love a good bit of technique. And then we went into the improv, and in improv, I have never really been asked to improv in an audition before, um, so that was new and exciting. Um, so I uh, did like lots of big tricks, like legs and turns and stuff like that. And the choreographer asked me if I could bring it down a little bit and I was only allowed to do one kick and like one turn series um, and I had to find different ways to move which was really really nice to be able to challenge myself into moving in a different way in a more stylized way so I improved in a more stylized like Fosse-esque way um, and then once we had spent we spent maybe 30 minutes on the choreography and once we'd learned it we went back through to the original studio with the panel and we did it all as a group just so that they could get a sense of like an ensemble and then we did it in twos like in two halves so like group one went and then group two went and then we did it as a duet and then we did it as solos we did it a few times just so they could see they would ask us to change certain things so they would say like Elsa can you go up stage Elsa can you go stage left like just placement in the room so that they could see everybody um, and then when we did it ourselves they asked like could you on this part do like a triple pirouette instead of a double or on this part could you do like a hinge in your improvisation like they would just ask for different things and I thought that was really good that they were giving like such concise direction um, which I really enjoyed and then that was the end of the in-person audition so they basically just said thank you so much for coming we will reach out to you via email if you want to see for callbacks or if we want any more information from you and we'll let you know either way in a couple of weeks I was like, awesome, great, thank you, bye. And then was like, that was one of the best, most positive auditions, audition experiences that I've literally had ever, which, I mean, just so good. Um, then a couple of days later, I got an email to ask, hey, we noticed on your resume that it says that you were a cheerleader, can you tumble? And I was like, yep, I can still tumble. Um, do you want, like, do you want a video or do you want me just to tell you the skills I can do? And they were like, a video would be perfect. So I sent them over a video of me tumbling two years ago. Oh my God, it was so long ago. Um, Because of the pandemic, I've not been able to like get a proper video of me tumbling. Um, so I sent over a video from a couple of years ago of me tumbling. Um, and then they asked if I had any videos of me stunting, which I only have videos from about five years ago of me stunting. So I sent them. I was like, I apologize. Like, I'm really, really sorry. This is kind of an old video. Um, I've not been at competition in four years. So I don't have any like updated new videos. And then I left my current cheer team. Literally like the week before I came here was the start of competition season. So I missed competition season this year, which I'm really sad about, but as a whole different video. Um, so I sent them that, they said, thank you very much. We'll get back to you. And then maybe a week and a half passed, didn't think anything of it. It was kind of like, oh, well, must have not booked it. Whatever, it was such a good experience. Really, really happy, like super, super positive. And then they sent me a job offer on Wednesday afternoon. Um, it was just like a basic, Thank you so much for your audition. We would love to see you be part of our production. We'd love to be part of our cast. Um, we're offering you dancer, ensemble, and um, acrobat. So the ensemble on the show is called like the players, like the cast of players. Um, so it's just like the villagers almost of this era of um, where the show is, or where it's set, sorry. 
Um, so I was really, really excited. I immediately said yes. I was like, yes, oh my God, this is like the most exciting thing I have ever experienced. Um, being booked a job post pandemic, like five months after moving to New York um, and I couldn't be happier. And then on Saturday, the 5th of February, I had a table read with my whole cast. So I got to meet my whole cast. I got to hear the whole show through. We read through the lines and then played the soundtrack when the songs were being like sung, um, just so that we could get an overall feel of the show. The cast seemed so lovely and so talented. Um, we went around in certain like the circle giving an, a fact and your name and what role you're playing. So I said, hi, my name's Elsa, I'm a world champion cheerleader and I'm in the ensemble. So that was my fun fact. Um, I get really nervous having to speak in front of a group of people, like literally makes me like die a little bit inside. So I have that rehearsed in my brain. I'm like, I'm a cheerleader. <laughs> like, it's so crazy that it makes me like really nervous. But everyone was so lovely and they put me at such ease. Um, we read through the whole play and then they asked us to come in on Monday. They were going to give us the day off so that they could get the final scheduling down by Monday. So we could have a, a proper official rota for the week. And so with tomorrow we have vocal rehearsal. Tuesday we have vocal rehearsal. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are either dance rehearsals or scene rehearsals. They haven't let us know yet. Um, but... Anyway, like either way, I am going to take y'all along with me on my first week of rehearsals for my new show. And, and when I know more, I will pop, I'll update on my TikTok and on here, I'll pop in the dates and cities that we'll be in and ticket information for the show. And I am super excited to get started on this journey. And I just figured this was a little bit of an easier way than making a 15 minute video on TikTok in like five parts. Wow, I can't math. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you do wanna see more of my face, check the card out up here. It's a weekend of my life running a small business or go and look at my playlist of Vlogmas if you are having the Christmas sads where you miss Christmas and you want it to be Christmas already because girl, I feel ya. That's how I'm feeling. Um, and I will hopefully see you in my next video. I post Tuesdays and Thursdays every single week. This video is a bonus upload as it's going up on Monday. Tuesday's video is an OnlyFans content video of how I make my OnlyFans videos, how I how I edit and all that stuff like that. And then Thursday's video will be my vlog of the week. And I'm super, 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 super excited to take you along on this journey with me. And I hope that we'll see you then. Love you. Bye.